The Zach Files Through the Medicine Cabinet. Chapter 6 I arrived back in Zeke's apartment out of breath. I dropped Zeke's desk cleaning in the hallway. I raced into the bathroom. I pushed hard against the back of the medicine cabinet, but I couldn't make the darn thing budge. Zeke obviously knew more about traveling between universes than I did. And then I heard somebody behind me. I whirled around to find Zeke's dad looking at me strangely. Zeke, he said, what are you doing? Should I tell him the truth? Could I trust him? Or was he the enemy? I didn't know, but time was running out, and I didn't see that I had much choice. Listen, sir, I said, this is going to sound, sound sort of incredible, but it's the truth, so help me. All right, Zeke, he said, but make it fast. We have less than 15 minutes before the cab comes. Okay, I said. First of all, I'm not your son, Zeke. I'm somebody else who looks just like him, and my name is Zack. I live in the parallel universe. My dad and I were getting re ready to go to the Yankees training camp, just like you and Zeke were getting ready to go to the Yankees training camp. Only I dropped my retainer through the medicine cabinet. I lost it, the same as Zeke lost his. Zeke's dad's mouth dropped open. He smacked his forehead with his hand. I can't believe it, he said. It's true, though, sir, I said. I swear. Zeke has lost his retainer, he said in a dazed voice. That's the tenth one so far this year. Wow, Zeke was even worse than me. Do you know how much those things cost? He asked, either $1,200 or $112, I said quickly. But didn't you hear the other stuff I told you? Yes, 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 of course I did, he said. Your name is Zach. You live in the parallel universe on the other side of the medicine cabinet, blah, blah, blah. You don't believe me, do you? I said. Why shouldn't I believe you, he said. Everybody in New York knows about your universe. It's not like it's a big secret or anything. And it isn't any better than ours either, by the way. Boy, this, this was a touchy subject with these guys. I never said it was better, I said. Look, sir, you seem to know a lot about parallel universes. So maybe you know how to slip back through the medicine cabinet to mine, like Zeke did just now. Zeke, he said. He crossed over? I nodded. I really had Zeke's dad's attention now. But it's almost 7.50. Zeke's dad smacked his forehead again. At 8, opening day will shut down completely. My point exactly, sir, I said. I'd be miserable if that happened. Not that I wouldn't love living here, I mean, because I think it's at least as good as my universe, and maybe even better. But the thing is, I really miss my mom and dad. Okay, okay, says Zeke's dad. This is what you have to do. Put your hand on the back wall of the medicine cabinet. I did. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, now visualize the back wall opening. Let me know if you feel anything. I did everything he said. It started to work. The wall was starting to feel kind of springy. I opened my eyes in time to see it sort of melt away. Chapter 7 Hi, Zach, said a familiar face. Zeke, said Zeke's dad. Oh, thank heavens. Zeke, I said, were you coming back? He looked embarrassed. I got homesick, he said. I mean, your dad is awfully nice, Zach. He really is. But he's not my dad, and this isn't my universe. I figured you must feel the same way. Even though New York is just as cool as New York. My dad appeared on the other side of the medicine cabinet. Dad, I said. 
Hi, Zack, said my dad. Then he turned to Zeke's dad. Hi, Don, he said. Long time no see. Hi, Dan, said Zeke's dad to my dad. They shook hands through the medicine cabinet. You two know each other? I asked, amazed. Yeah, we met when we were your age, said Zeke's dad. But it wasn't through a medicine cabinet. It was through a dryer in the laundromat. Yeah, said my dad. I always wondered what happened to odd socks that got lost in the laundry. Who would have guessed they'd go to the parallel universe? That was quite an opening day, said Zeke's dad. Not much laundry got dried, but we sure had fun. Your dad thought I lived in a dryer. Both my dad and Zeke's dad started laughing their heads off. Uh, excuse me for interrupting, I said. This is all very interesting, but it's now 7.55. All right, right, says Zeke's dad. He looked through the cabinet at Zeke. Do you still want to go to the Yankees training camp, son? I sure do, says Zeke. Then let me pull you through, says Zeke's dad. So Zeke crawled back into his own universe. I crawled back into mine. Oh, I'm sorry, Zach, said Zeke. I was a real jerk. You were, I said, but I forgive you. Cap horns were now honking on both sides of the cabinet. Well, so long, guys, I said. See you again sometime, said Zeke. Maybe at the next opening day, I said. Okay, said Zeke. He fished something out of his pocket. He handed it to me through the cabinet. It was my retainer. You swept my retainer, I said. He nodded sheepishly. But I couldn't keep it, he said, because you knew it was wrong. Yeah, he said. Oh, so it didn't fit. Then, all of a sudden, the grandfather clock in our hallway started chiming. Ring! It was eight. We waved goodbye to each other. Then, instead of facing Zeke and his dad, I was looking at shelves with toothpaste and deodorant. I pushed hard against the back wall of the medicine cabinet. I visualized like crazy, but nothing happened. So that's how I discovered the parallel universe. And every time I opened my medicine cabinet, 